Welcome back world, I am True Racer, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the new iRacing updates as much as I have been. Uh, this video we're going to take a look at how to update update your system to DX11, how to make it better for your netcode, how to uh, uh, adjust your netcode settings to make it optimal for you, and also how to use the video recording uh, new software that they have, and how to disable it if you want to keep using your OBS or other video capture device. So let's jump right into it. First order of business is DX11. How to upgrade to DX11. That is probably the biggest part of this new build. Um, this is a, it's currently running DX9 with a DX11 kind of beta. And just in case there's any bugs they need to fix or or anything goes haywire, they always have uh, DX9 as a backup for this build. But uh, DX11 seems to be running quite well, and I'm using it currently. So let me show you guys, ha guys how to upgrade to it, and hopefully you can benefit in all of its glory as well. Okay, now the first thing you want to do to get DX11 on your system is to join a session with DX9. Okay, now the only reason why you want to do this is so that you can take a picture of your graphic settings because when you update to DX11, it creates a whole new file, so you'll lose all of your graphic settings and other settings and stuff like that. So make sure to take a picture of it so you have it, so when you upload DX11, you can easily have a quick reference and get all your graphic settings back to normal. Now let's jump back into the lobby and I'll show you actually how to switch on DX11. Now all you have to do to turn on DX11 is go to settings and it says use DX11 on. And there you go, you'll be uh, hooking and jabbing with DX11. Now let's look into how to better improve your net coding because that's another thing IRAC came out with in this update is the ability to uh, relay more data to your fellow racers. And I'll show you how to do that. All you have to do is go to account, my account, and then scroll all the way down to preferences and it is by default at 128k or faster uh, what you have to do is bump it up even even higher it's not I'm not exactly sure which one is best for you it's going to depend on your internet and your computer and stuff like that uh, so you might want to mess around with it a little bit but you definitely have better options to have improved net code so I would definitely try and do that as much as possible because you guys know just as much as I do that netcode is is one of the worst things in any online racing or simulation environment. So I'm going to click it on one megabit a second faster. Not sure what that's going to do. I'm going to test it out. Maybe I'll, I'll do a bit more on it later. But that is that. Now the last thing we're going to look into is uh, the video capture. So let's, uh, let's turn it over to that. This here is the iRacing capture. Just... Uh, one clip, a simple click of a button, and you can be more or less recording your own races. Stuff like that. So it does, it does make it quite easy that way if, you're, if you don't want to go through the hassle of trying to learn OBS. Uh, works pretty good. And you can easily uh, do the game capture, which I might start doing for my screenshots and stuff like that. It'll be a lot easier than what I currently do, which is grabbing a clip from my own so it'll be a better quality. As it will have to be written. So to be able to do that and have your own video capture, what you got to do is go to options, which is, you can't really see it right now, but it's there, um, controls, and it's under other controls here with video capture and screenshot capture. By default, I think the hotkey is like control, alt, shift, f4, f10, y, p, q, and r all at the same time. I don't recommend that. I'll recommend if you're actually going to utilize this to make it a quick hotkey. For me, I just made it Control V for video capture and Control S for screen capture. Uh, the one, uh, the one little thing I found out is that when you have triple monitors, it captures all three monitors, and I prefer I prefer just to capture the center monitor. Um, Maybe I have to do some more digging. I didn't find out how to just, just capture the single the center monitor. Or maybe it's something that iRacing still has to work on. So I don't know. If you have found a workaround for that, please let us know down below. But other than that, it will it will capture all three screens. And uh, and uh, it's pretty cool if you don't want to go through the hassle of learning how to do OBS or any other screen capture device. And uh, you can actually just start uploading and making your own race videos right away. 
So definitely thank you iRacing uh, for that. Now for you OBS users and other people that are like me and do a lot of video capture on other software, I'm going to show you what you have to do uh, to uh, adjust the settings so it'll actually work in your video capture because when iRacing loads, it loads this new video capture software and it conflicts with either OBS or any of your other maybe video capturing software. So I'll show you how to disable that and tweak the video stuff here right now. So let's jump back into the uh, into the iRacing home screen. Okay, now to disable the video capture function so you can record on a separate video capture device, go to your documents folder and your iRacing documents folder. I'm under documents iRacing and then go to your uh, app folder, okay? Now, do be careful in here. You don't want to start messing around with too much stuff. Otherwise, uh, it'll start looking crazy. Just don't, don't mess with anything aside from what I, I tell you to at this moment. Scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says video, okay? And it says video capture enabled, okay? And it says zero. And this says set to zero to disable the video capture model. I have mine currently set to zero as I am recording this and switching back and forth. By default, it is set to one. And that is how you uh, utilize it uh, to capture videos and stuff like that. If you wanna capture it, on another piece of software like OBS or uh, what's that other one? X, X Split. Um, then you'll have to set this to zero, okay? And then they, then you'll be ready to rock and roll, and you'll be able to capture uh, do your your other capture stuff. Other things to note is you can actually capture your microphone. I was using when I did my recording earlier. I, was, I captured on my microphone. It was a little bit quiet. I'm not sure if there's some settings I can do within iRacing just to turn iRacing down and maybe my mic volume up or whatnot. Maybe I'll have to, you can mess around with that stuff. I'm sure there's a workaround for that. Uh, but you can capture your mic if you wanted to. Uh, you can change the file format. You can see here uh, 60 frames, 30 frames, or an even 1080p. Just read the description over here and put the corresponding number here to the left. And then, as always, make sure to hit file save and you'll be ready to rock and roll now last but not least there's one little other setting you need to adjust in iRacing to be able to make sure you can capture uh your obs or capture iRacing on obs or xsplit so let me show you that the last thing you need to do to get iRacing up on obs or on any other capturing device is you need to change your sources to capture iRacing dx11 uh, you will have originally, if you used it before, you'll have iRacing Sim 64. You need to change it to iRacing Sim 64 DX11. Uh, this is how you do it in uh, in OBS. I'm not exactly sure how to do it in XSplit. I'm sure it's kind of the same uh, same you know same line of work, but nevertheless. And also make sure to click anti cheat for OBS. So there you have it, guys. That is how you utilize and configure some of the new iRacing settings that are that that have come out with this new build. I wanted to make this video quick because I knew I struggled with it, and I'm sure there's a couple other people struggling with it as well. So if you have any more questions on these three updates, feel free to ask below, and I will answer them as best as I can. Later this week, we're going to come out with a full iRacing update and give you guys a list and updates on all the new stuff came out of this build. There's plenty of uh, plenty of cool new stuff that uh, is was in the release notes, and some that was not in the release notes as well, which is kind of kind of pretty cool. Also, I'll be coming out with a full what I think of the Renault 2.0, which so far is pretty good, but not everything is glorious uh, in that car. But I'm, so far, I'm enjoying it very much. But I'll do a full video on that here uh, pretty shortly, anyway. So, nevertheless, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did. Please help me out by subscribing or dropping a like on the video. Until next time, stay true and race on.